by faith. May the Lord bless his word. May the Holy Ghost glorify Jesus. May no flesh glory in the sight of God. May the word of God have free course and fall on good ground and bring forth fruit according to the will of the Lord Amen. and not according to man. Call your attention today as you pray for us and with us. Amen. In the book of Mark, chapter number 5, shall we read in verses 25 through verse 34. And you find it. If we've come this far by faith. And a certain woman which had an issue of blood twelve years, and had suffered many things of many physicians, and had spent all that she had, and was nothing better. But grew, but rather grew worse. When she heard of Jesus came in the press behind and touched his garment. For she said, If I may touch but his clothes, I shall be whole. And straightway the fountain of her blood was dried up, and she felt in her body that she was healed of that place. And Jesus immediately knowing in himself that virtue had gone out of him, turned him about in the press and said, Who touched my clothes? Mm. And his disciples said unto him, Thou seest the multitude thronged in thee, and sayest thou who touched me? And he looked round about to see her that had done this thing. But the woman fearing and trembling, knowing what was done in her, came and fell down before him, and told him all the truth. And he said unto her, Daughter, thy faith hath made thee whole. Go in peace, and be whole of thy plague. Can we say praise the Lord? Praise the Lord. One use for a thought today, your faith will see you through. Amen. Your faith will see you through. I believe there is a song that Rochester have sung many times on their broadcast and I sung it a, sung it a few, thinking a few Sundays ago that troublesome times are here. And it is filling men's heart with fear. Yes. And as you look around today, there is so much that is going on. Uh -huh. And I believe a little while ago, the song was sung that um, one day at a time, mm -hmm. sweet Jesus. That's all I'm asking of you. There was a time that you was able to plan, amen, for the week and plan for a month and within you you feel as though that whatever you plan, it will come to pass. Mm -hmm. We're living in trouble sometimes. Tomorrow is not promised. Even the next few hours is not promised. But knowing that, I thought about another song as I was in the office today, Deacon Malone fell on my mind. Amen. Put your hands in the hands of the man that still the water. Put your hands in the hands of the man that, that calmed the sea. Take a look at yourself. And you can look at others differently. Put your hands in the hands of the man from Galilee. <coughs> Sickness is in the land. Murders are in the land. Just troublesome times. Amen. And not only is it in the world, 
But it's in the churches holistically. And I have to say as a whole because um, this little church here is not the only people that is a part of the body of Christ. Amen. Churches are facing difficult times. And it is not surprising because as the coming of the Lord draw near, the saints are going to face with severe tests trials, and tribulation. I believe it was James that said, I believe it's James or Peter said, um, come to the Lord joy when you fall into divers temptation. Yes. Knowing that the trying of your faith worketh patience. Mm -hmm. This woman suffered for 12 years. Yes. But one day, she heard about a man called Jesus. Mm -hmm. Now for 12 years, this woman did all she could to get rid of her disease. Mm. It was a disease so that even under the law, such a one was to be put out from among the people. Uh -huh. and whatsoever she touched or sat on was unclean. Yes. But this woman spent all she had. And things just began to even get worse. My Lord, my Lord. I see that woman as, as an application you can use it to a sinner. Sinners feel as though, you know, I got to get this right and I got to fix this in order to come to the Lord before things get better. My Lord. They feel like, you know, I'm going to stay out here and I'm going to do what I need to do. And when a few things fall in place, then, then I'll come to the Lord. Uh -huh. Folks don't realize that it's nothing but a trick of the devil. That's right. Praise the Lord. Satan will do whatever he has to do. Amen. To prevent people from receiving their blessing. Yes, sir. But this woman grew tired. My Lord. Praise the Lord. And the Bible said she heard. She heard. <coughs> Praise the Lord. That's where faith began. Mm -hmm. Today you might say, well, preacher, I don't have no faith. Well, you are at the right place at the right time. All right. Because the Bible said in Romans 10, 17, Now faith coming. Uh-huh. By hearing. And hearing by the word of God. By the word. This woman did not hear about Buddha. No, sir. She did not hear about Muhammad. Mm. Matter of fact, Muhammad didn't come till years after Jesus. But this woman heard about a man called Jesus. That's right. She said within herself, what is it that I got to lose? Mm. This woman had a made up mind that whatever it takes, I'm going to get my blessing. All right. Now she could have stayed home and feel sorry for herself. You know, sometimes when we feel and we go through certain situations, yeah, some things are painful. Yes. I mean, it hurts. Is that right? <coughs> and sometimes life gets so heavy that, you know, you, you just don't want to face reality. I love and you wish you can just bury your head and bury your whole body. Mm -hmm. And I have to deal with life. Mm -hmm. But that's not the way things are. <coughs> the Bible said they that live God in Christ. Mm -hmm. They're going to suffer persecution. Yes. None of the apostles had an easy life. Amen. 
Being a Christian, it's not an easy life. But it's a beautiful life. Mm -hmm. Praise the Lord. I was on my bus the other day, and this lady got on my bus, and she looked at me and realized, amen, that I was thinking, you know, sometimes people can look at you and say, your, your mind seems as though like you're ready. You say, well, what's on your mind? Yeah. Praise the Lord. And she, she looked at me, and before she got off the bus, she said, oh, I know life, you know, it might be a busy day for you, but she said, you know what, life is beautiful. Mm. Praise the Lord. Uh, and I said, yes, it is. Praise the Lord. Now, this, this woman went insane, but she, she looked at me and said, life is beautiful. Life is beautiful. In other words, whatever is going on, mm -hmm. praise the Lord. Look on the private side of things. All right, all right. Praise the Lord. You know, it, it, it's easy to be discouraged when you're looking down. Yes. Because you, you, you got to be careful how you walk when you're looking down. Amen. And I heard somebody say like this, when you look down, amen, you see leaves all over the place. Mm -hmm. I mean, you may see things that just want to discourage you. My Lord. Praise the Lord. And if, and if you're careful, you might walk in something that you don't want to walk in. Mm -hmm. Praise the Lord. And, and, and life sometimes just causes your head to hang down. Yes, it does. Praise the Lord. Say what you want to say. Yes, we got the Holy Ghost and all of that. But um, let me say this. Me and you are still flesh, we're still human. Yes, sir. Praise the Lord. I mean, what happens to the people out in the world? Even happen to folks in the church. Amen. Praise the Lord. Huh? They got problems. Mm -hmm. huh? yeah, as Deacon said, our late past used to say this too, you know. Married folks got married problems. Yes. Huh? Young folks got young people problems. Yes. Uh, and single folks got single people problems. Yes, sir. In other words, Job said, man that is born of a woman, he's of a few days, and uh, he's just full of trouble. Yeah, full of trouble. Praise the Lord. And, and sometimes you don't even have to ask for trouble to come. Trouble just comes. Praise the Lord. And, and, and sometimes God allows it to happen. That's right. Praise the Lord. And, and, and sometimes, you know, the, the beautiful thing about God is God don't tell us everything. All right. Amen. Because he's not obligated to tell us everything. Amen. Praise the Lord. Just going back to them in Sunday school this morning, they were saying, you know, if some of the things that we have to go through it, uh, before we got saved and know what we have to give up, mm -hmm. some folks may not want to give up those things. That's right. That's right. Praise the Lord. Huh? But it, 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 it's a life where you got to learn to give up. Learn to give up. Praise the Lord and learn to let go. Yes. Praise the Lord. You, you, you think about Joseph. I'm coming. Think about Joseph and all that he had to go through. Uh huh. Praise the Lord. God showed him, you understand, the glory part of it. Yes. Praise the Lord. The Lord showed him, amen, his brethren bowing down and worshiping him and, and even his parents. Yes. Man, Joseph felt good, didn't he? I know. Praise I know. the Lord. Can you see him flexing his shoulders and flexing his muscles? Mm -hmm. Praise the Lord. Looking at his brother and looking at his parents. Oh, boy, they're coming today. Yes. Praise the Lord. This woman had a 
a situation that she struggled for 12 years. That's right. Amen. Now today, I don't know how long you've been struggling. Mm -hmm. You might be struggling just a month. My Lord. Your struggle might just started this morning. Mm -hmm. Your struggle might have been going on for 20 years. All right. Praise the Lord. Life is full of struggles. Mm -hmm. I heard the late Bruce Lee said it like this. Don't ask for an easy life. Mm -hmm. Praise the Lord. And I said to myself, don't ask for an easy life. Mm -hmm. Most people want an easy life. Is that right? Amen. Nobody want to suffer. No, sir. Nobody want to be sick. Mm -hmm. Praise the Lord. Everybody wish you can be healthy every day. Is that right? Yes, yeah, yeah, yeah. sir. Some of us don't want certain trouble. We, we feel like, Lord, I, I want to be trouble free for the next two months. Mm -hmm. I want to be problem free for the next few years. I know. But I believe Andrew Coward said, um, if I never had a problem, uh -huh. I will know that God can solve it. No, that he can solve it. I will know what faith in God can do. So God just allows things to happen. Yes, he does. No, I want you to understand this now. There's a difference between God allowing things to happen and when we're suffering for our own faults. Oh, yeah. Is that right? Because right. something it ain't God. Is that right? That's right. Something is just us, just me. And the Bible said, amen, if you suffer for your own fault, take it what? Patiently. Is that right? All right. All right. Don't murmur. Don't complain. And don't blame the dog. Uh -huh. Praise the Lord. Don't blame Praise the Lord. Don't blame your husband. Don't blame your wife. Don't blame the folks in the church. Don't blame your boss. Amen. Ask the Lord to shine your light on me. All right. Praise the Lord. Stop pointing fingers, praise the Lord, and take a look at our own self. Mm -hmm. Oh, hallelujah. So sometimes the Lord allows these things to happen to even show us who we are. Amen. Praise the Lord. Because some of us say, amen, oh, we're so strong that ain't nothing going to move us. But then the Lord allows certain things to happen to show us where we are. Yes, how strong you are. This woman, she could have stayed home. Yes. And have a pity party. Mm -hmm. Praise the Lord. That's how some folks are. They feel as though if I serve the Lord, nobody should talk about me. Mm -hmm. And soon as somebody starts talking about me, well, I ain't going to church no more. My Lord. Praise the Lord. I look around in the church. I just don't like what I see. Mm -hmm. And the devil said, well, you know what? Stay home. Might as well just stay home. Praise the Lord. Because ain't none of them folks in the church say. Mm -hmm. Praise the Lord. Just stay home and sit on your, you understand, sit in the living room and mm -hmm. kick your feet up. Yeah. Huh? Yeah. Watch a game and put the popcorn in. All right, now. You ain't got to put up with all of that stuff. Praise the Lord. I want to ask a question. Ask yourself the question, are you always perfect? Because mm. mm -hmm. if you are always perfect, that means the church is not going to always be in a perfect place. No, sir. Is that right? Amen. Some folks, they feel good all the time, all day. Mm -hmm. I mean, Rephrase that. They feel sick and at work all day. Mm -hmm. But they still press through. All right. You go to work. But when it comes to serving the Lord, they begin to make excuses. Mm -hmm. Praise Him. Now don't get me wrong, sometimes you you may need to stay home. Is that right? Yes, yeah, sir. But the thing is, if I can feel sick and work all day, mm -hmm. if I can put up with this and put up with that on the outside, what more the house of God? All right. 
Praise the Lord. It's easy to just want to just give up and throw in the towel mm -hmm. and say, what's the use? Mm -hmm. Praise the Lord. But this woman, she said, listen, I know my condition. Yes. I know my state of life right now. Mm. And I know I ain't got no business even touching anybody mm -hmm. because of my condition. Yeah, yeah. Oh, she said, forget it. All right. Praise the Lord. I'm going anyhow. All right now. Oh, hallelujah. And, and that woman, when she heard of Jesus, that's all she needed. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. Oh, hallelujah. You say what you want to say. You, you can hear about this and you can hear about that person, but there's something about the name Jesus. Yes, sir. Oh, hallelujah. It is the sweetest name. Sweetest name. Oh, hallelujah. I'll ever know. Yeah. That woman got up from her place and she began to press her way. Uh-huh. Oh, hallelujah. She said, I'm going to Jesus. I'm going, I'm going. And whatever it takes, amen, and, and all them folks around me that is going to talk about me, that's all right. That's all right. There's a song that says, talk about me as much as you please. Uh -huh. hey, Amen. the more you talk, I'm going to bend my knees. Praise the Lord. I mean, life is just made up where folks going to talk about you, whether you do good or whether you do bad. That's right. Sure enough. But this woman said, I'm going to press my way. Uh-huh. Oh, hallelujah. I, I, I just got to go where Jesus is. I want to bring a scripture in. Get me Romans chapter number 4, did you? Mm -hmm. Romans chapter number 4, verse 16. Yes, sir. Therefore it is of faith. Therefore it is of faith. That it might be by grace. That it might be by grace. To the end the promise might be sure. To, to the end the promise might be sure. To all the seed. All right, read on. Not to that only which is of the law. Not only to that which is of the law. But to that also mm -hmm. which is of faith. That also which is of faith. Of Abraham. Of Abraham. Who is the father of who us Who is the all. father of us all. As it is written. As it is written. I have made thee a father. I have made thee a father. Of many nations. Of many nations. Before him. Before him. Who Hallelujah. But Jesus said, wait a minute. Hey, man, your brother's going to 
gonna rise again. Gonna rise again. Oh, hallelujah. There's hope for my brother. for your brother. Yeah. She said, yeah, Lord, I believe there's hope for him. But at the resurrection, at the last day, mm -hmm. Jesus looked at Martha, praise the Lord, oh, and said, Martha, I am the resurrection. I am, I am the life. Mm -hmm. He that believeth in me, though you were dead, yet shall he live. In other words, you don't have to wait till the battle is over. All right. Oh, hallelujah. Walked up to the grave site. There was the stone. Jesus said, roll the stone away. Roll it away. Oh, hallelujah. Today, your stone might be preventing your blessing. Hello. Maybe your stone today is unbelief. Uh-huh. Maybe your stone today is doubt. Yeah. I don't see how God can work it out. Hello. Oh, hallelujah. But we quote that song. Why are you trying to figure it out? Why are you trying to figure it out? Oh,
They said, man, shut up. Man, will you please huh? Praise the Lord. Jesus ain't got time for you. Mm -hmm. You see, in life sometimes, folks want you to stay in the condition you are because they give them an advantage over you. Yeah, yeah. They can still rejoice because of your condition. Yeah. But blind Mm-hmm. 
we can't have church. Not at all. If nobody on the piano, uh -huh. we can't have no church. Come on now. If nobody not on the drum, yeah. we can't have no church. Not at all. Years ago, yeah. folks was on fire for the Lord. Oh, yeah. But I asked myself the question, mm. what's it all about the music? All right. Because if it was about the music, yeah. you got it wrong. Uh -huh. But when you think of the goodness uh, right. of Jesus, uh -huh. Where God wants you to be, where the blessing is, that's where you got to be. Yeah. 
and she touched the hem of his garment. And immediately, my friend, immediately. the healing virtue went on to Jesus. Uh -huh. Jesus said, wait a minute, who touched me? Yeah, yeah. Oh, hallelujah. Jesus said, who touched me? Who touched you? The apostle said, Lord, look at the multitude. Yeah. Somebody, all them folks being touched you. Mm. But why you saying who touched me? Yeah. Jesus said, this was a special contact. Mm -hmm. Everybody around me is touching me. Mm -hmm. But not one of them have the faith like this woman. All right. See, a lot of folks can be in the presence of Jesus, but yet they're not in the presence of Jesus. Because they ain't got no faith. Mm -hmm. They appear, praise the Lord, in a physical place, but their mind is far away from the Lord. All right. Until you get your mind on the Lord. Praise the Lord. Let the John go. Let it go. There are things that you and I can fix. If the Lord don't fix it for you, you can fix it. Thank you, Lord. So stop trying to fix the problem that God said he will fix. Mm -hmm. Praise the Lord. Get out of God's way and let God fix it. Yeah. Praise the Lord. You trust God. Get the problem to God. Yeah. And let yeah. God fix it. Thank you, Lord. Praise the Lord. No matter how much threatening letter your enemy might write to you. You be like Hezekiah that took that troubling letter from Sennacherib. Yeah. Praise the Lord. And when he read the letter, all it was is trouble. Mm. We gonna do this to you. My Lord. We gonna do this to that, this to you. Yeah. About this time tomorrow, this and that. These are those. Uh -huh. Hezekiah read the letter. Said, Lord, I can't do nothing about this. Can't do nothing about it. The doctor don't give you a bad report. Mm. What can you do about it? Yeah. Praise the Lord, huh? Doctor said you only got five months. Right. What can you do about it? All right. Your family don't want none of you. What can you do about it? Mm -hmm. Hezekiah said, I'm going to take it to the Lord in prayer. Yeah. Hezekiah took that letter and brought it into the house of God. Yeah. Because that's the place where the problem will be solved. It's in the house of God. Hallelujah. And he brought the letter. Didn't he do it? Yes, he did. And he spread it before the Lord. He said, Lord, I read it. Mm -hmm. Now I want you to read it. Mm -hmm. Because this is a letter my enemy done sent to me. Mm -hmm. Praise the Lord. And when God read the letter, mm -hmm. God said, Hezekiah, this is light work for me. Mm -hmm. Praise the Lord. This is light work for me, Hezekiah. Right. In other words, Hezekiah, don't you worry about your enemy. Don't worry about it. Praise the Lord. Don't you worry about no trap and letters. Mm -hmm. Don't you worry about the trap from the enemy. All right. Praise the Lord. Don't you worry about the giants. Because in the song, even giants they fall. Yeah. Oh, hallelujah. Sometimes your back is against the wall. Mm -hmm. And it does look like things are over. Yeah. But if God is for you, All right. no matter what trap they let them, nobody set up. If God is for you, don't worry about what nobody got to say. Amen. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. That woman pressed her way and made contact with Jesus and immediately, immediately the virtue went out to him yeah. and that woman was healed the very same hour. My question to you, what is keeping you back from getting your deliverance? Mm. What's keeping you back? Praise the Lord. Yeah. What's your hold up? Mm -hmm. What you waiting on? Praise the Lord. Hello. What you waiting on? And sometimes the answer already don't came to us and we miss it mm. because it didn't come the way we wanted it to come. That's how we miss things. Mm. We miss it. Hello. Our late pastor used to tell us this about the story of the man that was drowned in. Mm -hmm. The Lord sent him a helicopter. Yeah. He waved the helicopter on. Mm -hmm. US, um, US, US safeguard, mm. what is that what they call Coast it? Guard. Coast guard. Mm -hmm. I'm just wait, I'm, yeah, I'll go on. Go ahead, I'm all right. Uh, I'm, I'm good. Yeah. But he drowned it. Mm. That's the purpose of the save. You understand? Them folks to save you. Yeah. Then the Lord said, a light bulb mm -hmm. to rescue the man. The man waved them on and said, go on. Mm. I'm good. Hello. How foolish. To know you are drowning mm -hmm. in despair. 
How foolish it is to be drowned in unbelief. How foolish it is to be drowned in doubt. And God sent you the word that you need and all you are doing is refusing and plugging up your ears and said, I want God to speak in the way. Let the thunder roll. All right. Let the lightning flash. Because if the thunder don't roll and the lightning don't flash, then God did not spoil. Mm -hmm. But my friend, we miss it so many times that it comes in a still, small voice. Mm -hmm. The Lord done already done said the word you need to saw is it's not the person that you wanted to hear. Mm -hmm. Praise the Lord, huh? Mm -hmm. It's not the person I wanted to hear preach. Yeah. It's not the person that I want to hear teach. All right. It's not the person that I want to hear get up and sing. Mm -hmm. Praise the Lord. So God didn't work it out in my favor. Mm -hmm. One story was told of somebody would go to the church. Yeah. Bible study time. And they would look through the door. Yeah. And when they saw who was teaching, mm -hmm. they turned around mm -hmm. and went back in their car and went on home. Praise the Lord. Oh, hallelujah. That's respect the person. Let me say this. If you're here today, you under the sound of the voice of the Lord. If you got respect to a person, you are in sin. Mm -hmm. Praise the Lord. You are in sin. Man. God is no respecter of a person, my friend. God can use a donkey to talk. Mm -hmm. And if the donkey tell you what's right, my friend, hear what the donkey got to say. Yeah. If you look at the donkey and see just a donkey, mm -hmm. and don't see the donkey, it's not an animal that usually talk. Mm -hmm. But you so caught up in yourself. You know sometimes we are so caught up in ourselves, righteousness, mm -hmm. that if it don't happen the way I want it to happen, we're well, in the Lord. Praise the Lord. It, it, it ain't the Lord, saints. It ain't the Lord. Mm. The Lord done came by and spoke in a still small voice. Mm. And you still wait for the lightning to flash. You still wait for the thunder to roll. Mm. God already done came and spoke in a still small voice. Mm. And you don't miss your blessing. Praise the Lord. All because you are wrapped up in your self-centered self. All you see is me, myself, and I. And if God don't hear me today, God ain't God. Praise the Lord. But you don't tell God when to heal you. You can tell him, but it's up to God. Damn. It's up to God to bring you up. It's up to God to deliver. Don't worry about what's going on. Put your faith in God. I know many things ain't seem right. Many things don't look right. But it ain't our business. Our business is to get them on our knees mm -hmm. and put it before the Lord in prayer. And when we pray, the Lord way. Many times the Lord can't have his way. Why? Because too many folks are self-centered. It's all about their selfish sin. Let's get ourselves out the way and let Christ be magnified. If the Holy Ghost don't come with a self-centered attitude, the believers should not come before God with a self-centered attitude. The Holy Ghost come and you want to shine the spotlight on Jesus! Mm -hmm. When we come to church, we got to shine the spotlight on McBean. Hello. Praise the Lord. Is that right? Shine it on McBean. Is that right? Mm. Shine it on Barrett. Is that right? Mm. Shine it on Keyboard. Is that right? Shine it on Presley. Is that right? No, my friend. The spotlight got to be shined on Jesus. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Let's get out of ourselves. All about Jesus. Let's look to the hills. From whence coming to our help. Knowing that all of our help coming from the Lord. Saints of God, keep on pressing. Mm -hmm. Don't give up. Praise the Lord. No matter what we're facing today, <coughs> I believe God. Amen. Praise the Lord. I, Bishop Jensen, may be, mm -hmm. believe God. Amen. No matter what you say, no matter what folks say, my faith is for me. Mm -hmm. Praise the Lord. Amen. Your faith is for you. Yes, sir. If you don't believe it, my friend, you may not be a part of it. Mm -hmm. But I want to believe what God is a part of. Amen. I want to be in what God is in. If God is in it, I don't want to be in it. Don't want to be in. If God is not a part of the conversation, I don't want to be a part of it. Mm -hmm. If God is not a part of the decision, I don't even want to be in it. Right. Praise the Lord. I want to be in what God is in. Amen. I want to be where? In the will of God. Amen. I want to come to the one that is Hallelujah. Oh, hallelujah. May God bless you.
today. I feel good in my soul today. Thank you, Lord. Thank oh, hallelujah. I feel good in my soul today. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. Huh? Do you got problems? Yeah, I do. Yeah, God. Just like you got some. Yeah. Praise the Lord. But you know what I ain't going to do? Mm -hmm. I ain't going to sit down mm -hmm. and let my problems overwhelm me. Oh, no. I ain't going to let my problems paralyze me. No. Praise the Lord. Because there's still work to be done. Mm -hmm. So we got to learn to dry your tears. Mm -hmm. Get to the house of God. Amen. And do God's work. Do the work. Do Praise the Lord. Don't stay home. All right. Drive into church. Oh, I wish I could turn around and go back home. That's the devil. Mm -hmm. Praise the Lord. What are you going back home for? Turn on the TV. That's what you're going to do. Mm -hmm. And watch the young and the restless. Yeah. Praise the Lord. Turn on the TV. Go watch your baseball. All right. When the Lord is saying, get to the house of God. But Lord, I don't see this and I don't see that. Mm. God said, get to the house of God. You obey God and get to the house of God. Whatever the problem is, let God fix the problem. Yeah. It's not your thing to fix. It's God. Praise the Lord. Oh, not your... oh may God bless you today. May heaven smile upon you. Praise the Lord. Huh? Your faith is going to see you through. Mm -hmm. And through it all, I've learned to trust in Jesus. Yeah. And I've learned to trust in God. Trust the Lord, saints. Believe in Him. Praise the Lord. And if you don't work it out in five minutes, mm. still believe in Him. Is that right? Still believe. Don't put a time frame on God. Because He will come when he wants to come. Mm -hmm. But you just keep on pressing. Yes. Press on, saints of God. Press through. Mm -hmm. Whatever you're going through today, don't give up on God. Don't give up. But keep on pressing through. And there's some things you got to forget. Those things that you're behind us. Mm -hmm. Forget some things that is behind you. Forget it. Forget it. Let it go. Yeah. Forget it. Don't hold on to it. Forget it. Mm -hmm. Let it stay behind you. And when those things are behind you, Paul said, now I'm reaching forward to those things reaching. which are before us. He said, I press towards the mark for the price of the high calling of God, which is in Christ Jesus. May God bless you today. May heaven smile upon you. May God give you peace. Amen. Is our prayer. Oh, hallelujah. Hold on to your faith. Uh, hold on to your faith. Uh, so just, just tell somebody, hold on to your faith. Hold on to your faith. Oh, hold on to your faith. Hold on to your faith. Hold on to your faith. Just a child, hold on to your faith. Hold on to your faith, Father T. Hold on to your faith, Sister Mel. Hold on to your faith, you can press it. Saints of God, hold on to your faith. Praise the Lord. And if you don't mind me saying, praise the Lord. Deacon Byron, hold on to your faith. Oh, hallelujah. Whatever faith you got today, hold on. Hold on. God bless you today. Heaven smile upon you. God give you peace in our prayer. Amen. I just feel good in my soul. Right. Amen. But God bless you. Today you want to be saved, you can be saved. Praise the Lord. Now whatever you want today, God's got it. God's got it. Praise the Lord. Whatever you need, God's got it. God's got it. Praise the Lord. Just believe God that God can do it and he will do it. But he'll do it in his time. Yes. Praise the Lord. You can turn the camera off, sis. Praise the Lord. The Lord bless you today.